Hello and welcome to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. This five-liner brew has been brought to you by our friends and partners at FinQ, MXS Solutions, Shop Smart Autos, M1 Data and Analytics, 321 Ignition, and Fixed Ops Digital. If you want to team up with the podcast or you just want more of the brew, go to carguycoffee.com. Let's brew! In car What's guys, going in car on? Guys. It's Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And it's Fred Lenartz, the subprime hero. And we are brewing solutions with the best once again on the Car Guy Coffee oh. podcast. So thankful that you are here. Man, do us a favor because we only have so much time. And man, is it a grind. Our guest is <laughs> inside of an airport getting ready to give focus and man. fly brewing solutions. I'm going to tell you something. This gentleman here has been bringing information to the industry for a while now. He's been helping the industry get better. He's helping dealers from all over the world really learn different processes in business, how to help your community, how to get more digital. Man, I'm excited. He is somebody that I consider a local superstar that's become a global superstar. And to have him on the show, and we ran it, just saying, we ran yeah, into we, him like a couple <laughs> times at NAD as we're passing by like escalator. Oh, escalator. Oh right, Escalator but just happening. but he That's always took the we, time we to know. smile at us and took the time to let us know that he saw us, right? And I appreciate that, David. You know, you're amazing. So exciting <laughs> to see him. His energy, you could feel it. You know, we didn't want to. I mean, seriously, he is that special to us, and we're excited. Another Kentucky homegrown bluegrass yes, state yes. guy, right up the right down the bluegrass parkway. Our guy, Mister the One, the, the only, only David K. <laughs> Put your hands together, everybody. <laughs> Man, here. welcome to the show, David. Oh, guys, it's hey, listen. I saw I need you all introducing me everywhere I go. You uh, tell us when, tell us when and where. Yeah. We love it. We love Ser- that. Seriously, uh, my mom and dad need to obviously have you all do that so I can put that tape on my refrigerator and say, anytime you're wondering how I'm doing. Uh, just watch this video of Lou and Freddie doing the introduction. They'd be so proud. Oh, uh, well, absolutely. Well, it's well, des- it's well deserved, you know, and, and that <laughs> legacy and that family is undeniable. You guys have been doing things for the state. Now, like I said, you're really pushing boundaries and you're going further out and you're letting that Kane known, that Kane legacy be known across the world. And yes. you no, know, really, it's, it's a blessing to have you on the show. I appreciate that you putting the time in to do so. I know you're across the country um, in Seattle right now. You're, you're, you're hiding somewhere where you can be as quiet as possible, where, where it is as quiet as possible. You're not going to be as quiet as possible. We're going to have too much fun today. But that being said, <laughs> we do appreciate you for taking the time. I know you're traveling and we, you know, we're making sure that we can find time to make this happen and you did and it means a lot to lou and i so honored to have you on the show so thank you you're sure welcome guys and uh also i want to share with you uh what it means because you you all can appreciate this when you're local your local people don't know much of you in fact they're kind of like oh lou and fred who are these guys but outside of your home state people know you I hear about you all the time, and uh, it's it's a thrill. And and very similarly to me, you know, people will come up to me at the NADA, and they're like, "Oh, hey, listen, I watched uh, you know a broadcast, or I I got to go to one of your workshops." But if it was if it was at our hometown, people would be going, "Oh man, that's Lou, Fred, and Dave. What, what's <laughs> it today?" Right. They didn't even pay attention in school. How are they doing stuff like that? <laughs> how do you know that? How do you know how we feel? <laughs> I think from his own experiences, you know, and that's what's so awesome. You know, it, it's so true. But, you know, that's the thing. Like, it's, it's, we're, that's the reason why we do what we do. We're reaching out further. You know, we know that our towns are covered by great legacy. You, you know, you're led by your family doing great, great things in your community. You know, here with the dealerships that we've worked for or with, it's been nothing but great legacy there being passed out. So you feel, you feel like they're in good hands. So it's time to go out and, and try to share it with the world. And, you know, you do a great job with that. And we appreciate that. Like you're literally on the other side of the country right now. What's crazy is that you're on the other side of the country, exactly where my son is right now. He's Whoa, inside of that is true. Seattle getting ready to fly over to Japan. And you just so happen uh. to be kicking out inside of that airport. But wow, what a crazy connection just on that. But you are here. You're wow. here right now. And this is incredible for all of us just because we honor 
the presence that you have inside of automotive. We honor the gifts that you continue to pour out. And the reason why we want to brew with the best that are like you is because you've seen what it's like to grind out hard work, getting it done with a smile, with grace, and with great honor towards many. And that's the kind of beans that we like to brew with here on Car Guy Coffee. You are one that energizes us. If you think we got a lot of energy, we'll consider that we have people like you that we look to that say, wow, look at what they're doing. Now we can actually continue down a path that we're going through. And now we can also sit down, have a cup of coffee, a conversation, and a good talk with a great mind inside of automotive. Man, plus, he's at the place where coffee yeah, is amazing yeah, up there in Seattle. The great <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Yeah. They, you know, they, you know they, they absolutely love it that. It doesn't get better than Ew, that. It's a that caffeinated conversation right now we're getting ready to have. So let's go. forget Focus Fly, Lou. Let's, yeah, let's, let's get, get this going. party rocking. So yeah. we promised you that we would tell you what it's like to do these dance moves and to get yourself moving on forgiving, focusing, and flying. But we want to make sure that it does. It hits the heart, it hits the head, and it makes your body actually move. <laughs> and what we do is we wipe off the weight of unforgiveness because there's no use of keeping it, and it only slows us down. Use our free hands to focus on where it is that we're going, what it is that we want to accomplish, and who it is that we can help. And then we stretch out in faith until we see ourselves flying. And then once we're flying and we're taking it towards wherever it is that we've been focused, we keep growing and keep growing. That's right. So help us out. Uh, on faith. We're going to forgive focus. And uh, fly together. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Uh, on three, love this that. is history. David Kane inside of the cafe. Oh, man. On three, one, two, three. Forgive. forgive. Focus. 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 They fly. Fly. <laughs> and keep <laughs> growing. That's keep right. Growing. <laughs> we love it. Thank you yes. for doing it with us, man. Now you are part of the solutionary crew. You are official. Yes. That is the secret handshake. So Welcome. that is what Welcome. we do. You That's know what the we moves. bring. So now he knows the moves. And we got some good moves. That was nice. I like that. I so uh, love it. <laughs> we appreciate it. First question of the day, you know, and we had this five liner, and the very first question is the same one we ask everyone. It's their why, it's their drive, it's their purpose. What is it every single day that makes you wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to go out with purpose and do something that makes a change? What is that? Hey, dealers, Car Guy Coffee Podcast and Certified Solutionaries are honored to be a part of Team VinQ. Solutions they have been brewing to help you with more vehicles, manage merchandise, and advertise those vehicles has made them one of the most sought-after dealers in the market. They are 100% CGC approved, and when you visit them at VinQ.com, you will see a whole hill of beans worth of reasons why. Team VinQ, let's brew! I think what my drive is when I see the young people in our industry that are considering this as this approach to their career, and they're not quite sure that the automotive industry is exactly what they want to do. What I want to do is to tap into that inner strength that they've got that a lot of people have told them, you know, you, you didn't get educated properly. You don't have all the skills from a technical standpoint. But what, what I've been able to do each and every day is to help them to recognize you don't need to have the degrees. And, and we welcome them. We'd love to have those advanced degrees and the regular university diploma up on the wall. We also will accept anybody from any kind of technical background. But what yes. I want them to understand is if they're just nice to guests and they take good care of their skills and they really focus on what the needs are for the customer, they're going to do really, really remarkable in this field. And I've often said that the car business is like the Statue of Liberty. We will take your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, mm -hmm. and we will help them to be very, very successful in this world. And I like to quote my dad who says, we don't sell cars. We literally help people see the world. We put the world on wheels. We let parents take their new babies home from the hospital. Mm -hmm. We help people to go ahead and get to a job so that they can advance their lives. And you help people see the ocean, the Grand Canyon, all those things that really allow someone to do more than just get in the car and drive. We do more than that. And, I, and that inspires me, and it's what gets me up every day. Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm marked by that, and i gotta, I got to complete writing this down. If we put the world on wheels, it just jumps on me and is so... You know, like, yes, 
because there is a great honor in what we do. There is. There is a great Truth. liberation. There's a Truth. great freedom that we help grant. There's a grand empowerment that is given yes. in what it is that we do in this career. And people need to know that. People need to honor that and be proud to come be part of it. That's part of the culture that we're doing. And man, I mean, I'm still like, wow, what a, what a quote, what a, Oh, that's, that's right. an honorable that's, thing, like, but wow. that's, that's, a, it's a, something special. <laughs> so understand that every situation we have, whether they have the best credit, the worst credit, whether they're the shopper that's trying to get the best deal and they have like the booklet of all the stuff, right? We've seen all the stories help everyone. Like they're your brother. Help everyone yeah. like they're your sister, like they're your mother, if you have to go that deep with it. I mean, like it's yourself, because when you do that and you treat everyone that's it, maybe you don't close every deal, but you do help everyone. You do live no with fulfillment. You get, and you will, at the end of the day, have more be backs You'll never have to catch another up after so many years. It's so true because of just small things. It's the little differences that we make that makes us from a salesperson to to exactly what you say we help the, we help them we help them get the uh, world on wheels right um, yeah we, we let them it, they can go anywhere they want they bring their child home in their cars they you know i and i you made that visual when you said that yeah, i thought about right, when i brought my home my son home right i remember getting in the vehicle even and putting my my wife was on her way to the hospital i, I had left the bag sitting in the outside and i ran over it <laughs> I, just those things it was, oh, you know this <laughs> i remember that so much but it was all with that car right it's it's <laughs> memories. It's so much. It's so many things these cars do for us, you know. And, yes. and they are. And, and they're. But the biggest thing is most people have this hurt when they go into a dealership. A lot of times they have this guard up because they're so scared that we're going to do them so wrong. So it's our job to get them to put that guard down and let them know it's going to be okay. We're there to really help. Absolutely. Them. We're excited to help yes. them because they're our family. You know, we want to make you part of everything. So I love that man. Great, great tradition. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll pass that on to my dad and. And I'll say this, as you are coming up the parkway, all you have to do is to turn right, go in, and you'll meet my 92-year-old dad who's started our family business in 1952. And uh, I've got eight brothers and sisters. We were all raised in and around the dealership. And I'll share this, that uh, please, if you're a beginning salesperson, put the pictures of your kids on your desk on the credenza. Because my dad used to put all nine of us, and he didn't have one group picture he had individual frames and he wanted to demonstrate that those were all the mouths he was trying to feed and that's why he couldn't that's why he couldn't take any less on the deal <laughs> we know you're loving the show so far we just wanted to quickly remind you about our partners at fixed ops digital and how their automotive's premier service marketing and technology company they're not only proud sponsors of this show, but can be your dedicated point of contact for all your online service marketed related needs. Servicing dealerships throughout the US and Canada, the mission is to create a better online experience for your service customers while using data intelligence to drive more fixed operations revenue. If you want to take your service marketing efforts to the next level, go ahead and reach out to our friends at Fixed Ops Digital at FixedOpsDigital.com. Back to the show. But facts, uh, you know, and just and it shows like it gives people real feelings. Like I get what you're saying now. This isn't just a yeah. sales pitch, right? You know, you're really being real. You know, but at the end of the day, it's about the service. And I know there's a reason why your store started from probably like a small store to just this gigantic store. And it's beautiful. If you have ever had the pleasure to drive on for sales and really get off the parkway, or you're right there at the end of it, right there where the parkway meets it. Their store stands out so beautifully. It's in a great location. It's just, it's it's like an icon in my opinion. You know, it's right. You got that, and you go just a mile up the road, pretty much. And you got the big castle on the left, right? So you got two yeah. castles, two castles, a modern day castle of automotive, and then you have the electric <laughs> castle, which is beautiful. Um, but no, beautiful location, um, beautiful spot, but no great tradition there. And I've heard nothing but great things about your guys' auto group there. So wonderful stuff. Thank you. We we appreciate it. And that, that was the last task I had was designing that building before I left uh, the dealership to go to Ford Direct and uh, right. then, you know moved from Kentucky to Detroit. And, and I, you know, people say I never looked back. I look back all the time. I have such an appreciation for our home state. I love living here. I love the nature of the people that we interact with. Um, and, and I've found that truly in every state across the union, 
and, and luckily in other countries that I've been able to go work in, people are people. And and what we have to do is to get into the, the orientation that they're not trying to take advantage of us. That if, if we really will, will look for the good in people, we're going to be okay regardless of religion or politics. Yeah. Most of the time, we got good people on the other side. Yeah, right. and, and no doubt. And that we are good people on our side. And yes, people, no question. Honor that and not have to apologize for not being what it is that customers think we are. Level yeah, with them, absolutely. Them how we're here to help them, and then honor your processes right, honor your your commitment to the customer right, and make sure that you have a great experience yourself. The best person to have fun with is somebody that's having fun already. Absolutely, and, and that's yes. What you learned a lot of times if you're going to teach somebody how to have a good time buying a car, you have to know how to do it especially since you're the one putting on service for them. And so you can keep that in the family, right? You can keep that close yeah. by. It doesn't have to leave yeah. the family. But you are committed to taking what it is that you have and spilling it out, pouring it out into the rest of the industry. So I ask you this, as somebody that can get, you can, so many people can get comfortable being great right where it is that they are and never share things with anybody else. And that's part of the culture that I see breaking now. We're starting to share more. And because we're sharing more, we're all growing more. We all are being able to tie our roots together that help us to reach to light in a better way. What is it that made you make the transition into one family to many families into sharing your gift and your knowledge with the whole industry? What made you break out of the box? You know, I think to give you total dimension to that when the internet first cropped onto the scene we were in a position to where our dealership was approached by our local newspaper the herald leader and they said hey would you like to have a website and i was like can we be first what's a you know what's a website uh <laughs> sure it's one of those uh, so, long as, so long as we can be first i want to do the website and uh, candidly, that was in 96, 97, and, and I just got a bug for the digital world. And we got to the point, I got on Ford's dealer council, and we decided that this was going to be a solution for selling cars big time. And the reason why I created Kane Automotive, our company, is we were selling leads, which was wonderful, and dealerships were giving us uh, the income. But so many of them didn't know what they were doing with the leads. And candidly, the reason why I left, the, left Ford Direct, which was a peach position, wonderful company, great leadership and stuff, tied in really well with Ford. Uh, but I, I just felt like we were kind of taking advantage of dealers to where we were just selling them stuff. They didn't know how to sell cars with us. So mm -hmm. literally, it's been my daily routine to help people communicate effectively with guests and make them feel smart about the purchase decision, make them feel comfortable with the approach that we're going to take, regardless of whether their credit is this challenge or they don't have a down payment or you know, they, they have to buy a car other than the one they were looking for. I want them to feel good about it. And, and so I felt like that was a missing ingredient in the business. So in, in 2003, I left the comforts of a big company and I went out on my own and uh, for the last 19 years, for whatever reason, I've just had luck on my side and people have succeeded with the ideas that we learn. And I'm a rolling stone that gathers a lot of moss. Everywhere I go, I learn something new. I moderate these 20 groups and I sit there with 20 of these really remarkable people three, three, three times a year. So I've got three groups and, and so nine meetings a year, I'm sitting there and picking up stuff and and I just feel like it's important to be able to pay it forward. And, and that's what I do in my job. And that's what I try to do each and every day with sessions like this. That's wow. Really and you do it with class and honor. Race. I love it. Such, such, class, such honor. And that's what a solutionary does, folks. That's how a solutionary answers mm -hmm. that question. Oh, yeah. No because doubt about it. He is finding a way to make sure that he is matching up with people that are sharing their light. And taking from the table too, right? It's so important that we don't sit at the table and only drop off what we brought to the table, right? It's so important that we pick up what everybody else has, has cooked good. That's what I love potlucks for, right? I never really knew what a potluck <laughs> was until a certain stage of, of my Kentucky life. 
And what once, <laughs> once that uh, became something that I, I understood, like, wow, that's really great. I mean, I saw people bring a little something or a dish here to there and other family meals, but they called it a potluck at work. And all these people <laughs> brought something that they loved and made, and we all enjoyed it together. That happens in, in the industry now. And there's more opportunity for us to do that. There's more opportunity for us to share, to consume the good that everybody else is cooking. And, and you are also unlocking it in other people. And that's what we want to make sure other people commit to doing too. It's unlocking the doors that people don't even know they have the key to. Because a lot of times they have the key themselves. They just have to yeah, utilize you're right? So right. And, and, and Somebody's got to believe in them. Yes. Oh, man. And, and you're doing that. That's the solution every man. That's All day, you know, and, and we got Brian Toole who says, <laughs> I love it. He says, David Kane has been a solutionary before it was cool to be one. That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking you know, about. and he's right. We did make it cool to be one. But hey, <laughs> with that being said, they've been out. But They've you seriously, <laughs> you have been. I think there's a, been a solutionaries all day. That's what inspires us. Yeah, we see yeah. people that are doing things that are amazing, which makes us believe that it's possible for us to do the same thing. Not only is it possible, but it's impactful. You can make a change. And it takes it takes a lot of us to make a big change in this industry and in the world. So we're doing our best to do so. You're doing your best, but we keep uplifting each other. And that's what's special about this frequency that we're all on right now. And I love being around these people because it really amplifies. There's something about that. There's something about mentorship, finding the right people to be there for you or people that you can be there for, right? You've been both sides of the coin. I know I have, and I, and I, I take honor each way. My question for you is who have been mentors to you? Who have been people along your path that have helped you make decisions in your life? Hey dealers, did you know that when you get registered on the ShopSmart Autos dealer directory, it has no cost, no credit card, and no commitment? You'll receive 12 free months of ShopSmart Autos VIN history reporting. That's a simple click giving you daily wholesale, retail values, days on market, market price, accident, service, and repair history. Great for spotting trades or buying at the auction. Listen, you can try it for free for one year and you'll never pay high prices for vehicle history again. You can check them out at ShopSmartAutos4Dealers.com. That's ShopSmartAutos4Dealers.com. It's first getting into doing a lot of big presentations. Uh, one of the, the great guys who's a, kind of a mentor of mine is a guy named Todd Smith. And Todd uh, created a company called Active uh, Engage, and he's no longer in that. He's got a company called 360 Converge, and he's remarkable. And uh, he gave me my first book called The Presentation Secrets of Steve Jobs, and he goes, you've got some really good raw ability, but we need to hone your presentations. We need to help you with your approach. And it made all the difference in the world to me. So really, really important in, in my development as someone who can go out and stand on a big stage and, and do really, really well. Additionally, you know, some of the people in the Ford world have been remarkable to me over the years. I remember one of our early zone managers, a guy named Hal Fader, and Hal took me under his wing, took really great care of me with my knowledge and, and my unproven abilities and helped me out um, to get really better. And he stays in touch with me, even at this advanced age to where uh, he wants to look after me and, and make sure I'm still doing okay. So, you know, those are a couple of big ones. And, and I'd be remiss to say that it was nice to have a dad who, who I worked literally 20 feet from every day for 20 years, who took really great care of me and used to be the boost in my career. Man, that's fantastic. I love how you laid on her that way. You know, there's there's a there's a Kevin Jones that you met um, while you were walking into Allegiant Stadium. And he, and he I just remember met, Kevin and he says, I can attest. I met David coming out of the Uber, walking into Allegiant Stadium yeah. first night of NADA, walked up to him basically as a perfect stranger. Aside from knowing <laughs> what he looked like through social media, rock, walked right up to him, shook his hand and he graciously had a conversation with me. That is so <laughs> David Payne. Like when I think of you, that's exactly <laughs> what I, I picture, right? That exactly well, that happened because you are that person. You will honor and you and you also are very <laughs> humble. Very, very humble, you know. And I thank you. you. Well and I'll share this. He gave me a hundred dollar poker chip. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but if we can ever figure out how how that's worth something. And <laughs> and now I realize 
now realize what it was for. It was for today for Kevin and I to reconnect. So thank you very much, Kevin. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> well, car guys, car gals, if you're enjoying what it is that we're brewing right now, make sure that you do share this back around. If you're just tuning in, there's plenty for you to go back and listen to, but there are still two more lines on this five liner. So do us a favor and make sure that you do honor the incredible voice of the automotive industry in the automotive industry that's in the cafe with us right now, Bruin Solutions. There are two more questions that we do have oh, man. for you, David. And there's sometimes so much of us only celebrating the big wins and we don't count the big wins as the biggest hits on the channel. Sometimes the hardest slug in the gut is what taught you the most. So in, inside of that, help us understand inside of your career up to now, what has been the hardest lesson you've had to learn growing in the automotive industry? Well, uh, boy, there's so many of them. I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember <laughs> one time in particular, I was a very overconfident salesperson and I was uh, so, so capable in my opinion at, at closing deals which I'm not a big fan of that term closer, but you know, it's, it's so resonant in our industry. I'll, I'd much rather be a helper. We always teach the phraseology, always be helping instead of always be closing. But uh -huh. anyway, back, back to the story, I was sitting there and in my mind, I had presented the vehicle. We'd taken the test drive, everything was going good. And I was sitting there as I presented the numbers and in my mind, I was doing the what we've all been trained to do: let them talk last. Don't don't you break it. And in my mind, I was like, they're gonna say we'll take it. I literally had said in my mind, I was that confident and that cocky. I said the the next words out of their mouth is gonna be, I'm gonna take it. Now I, I imagined I was gonna go to my friends on the on the floor and say, I predicted what they were gonna say. And you know what they said? <laughs> We're not going to take it. We're going to have to go think about it. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> and and it was the greatest lesson because, uh, you know, I realized I'm not invincible. I'm not overpowering. I can't cause these people to do what I want them to do. And, and I had to work a lot harder to close that deal. I eventually did close them. But, boy, it was such a... Oh, tough lesson to have to go through. Man, what, yeah. a, what a humble pie, right? Huh? Put that yeah. humble pie uh, creamer in your coffee. You know, but those yeah. questions, you know, but once again, that's not a failure. That's a lesson. Yes. And what's so yeah. beautiful about that is that you took it and you and you kept going with it and you did your best to make sure yeah. that it happened. You were a solutionary at the end of the day. I mean, he was so right. You were been a solutionary since before it was cool to be that's a solutionary, right? right? <laughs> and, and, you know, and I can honor that. You know, I, I love I love what you're talking about and what you what you bring up here and, and how you um, how, how you react to certain things is how you know you're gonna do better in the future. When you can sit there and say, "Hey, you know what? I give up. I don't know what I did. I did it. I messed up. I'm you know I'm horrible." Or you can say, "Hey, listen, I learned something. Wow, I need to do better than that. I need yeah. to actually right. I need to humble myself." You know, I think we need to do that every once in a while, all of us, you know, as we, as we, there's a moment, I think that's why I've been married for so long as I allow, my wife humbles me so much and I appreciate that, right? She's like, but Fred, <laughs> listen, and I love her and I honor her for that. You know, it's good to be humble. Yeah, and, and that's the, the benefit of having the great mentors. As long as you have those good relationships inside of your life where you can be real with each other, it's easy to be humbled on. It's easy to make sure that you stay in that state right. because if you do stay inside of that discipline of being humble, you can accomplish so much because you're not getting slowed down by your own egos, by your own abilities. Yes. Even. Because if you're humble, you let people help you, right? And if you let yeah. people help you, you can accomplish way more. And the communication that we want to get to our customers at the end of the day, sales pros and managers, that we are there to help them accomplish what is their mission to get accomplished. The only reason why we matter in their life is because they have a problem and it's not the car itself, it's the transportation problem. And we're going to solve that problem. And as we solve that problem, we connect it to an awesome automobile. That's the best that can be done right now and all the right. other good stuff that comes with it. But now we have a relationship. And right. the relationship is what keeps us building heritage and legacy inside of our communities and with our businesses. And that's incredible that you take those lessons like that, like being told no. Uh, 
skirt. I know you did all your steps, but nope. Right? <laughs> and take that and then say, okay, well, how do I get better now? And I'm glad that I'm not as good as I thought I was because we oh, yeah. can get ourselves in trouble with that. Uh, we've all been there. We've all <laughs> thought a little too much of ourselves. The customer was very quick to be like, yeah, I don't even, I don't really, can I talk to somebody else? And you're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you learn a lot there. Cool. Thankful for that. But with that, after we get those big hard lessons, then we. Great news, Solutionaries. MXS Solutions, our newest partner, newest sponsor, and newest solution for your digital presence is excited to be teamed up with the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. What does that mean for you? That means that now you can reach out to Fred, you can reach out to Lou and find out what it takes to take your digital presence to the next level with our incredible friends at MXS Solutions. Let's we have rewards, rewards, you know, as we grow and we learn, we have moments of sh that we shine, you know, and there's been times that you that you've been able to help somebody or maybe put legacy into people and show them a path to of a great life of a way to be different to be that solutionary that we, we, we want them to be when it deals with their customers, right? So I know you've had a lot of opportunities, 20 years at the dealership mm -hmm. doing this now killing it and just having fun out there changing the game up and showing people what is going on with social media and i'm a big advocate of it i'm a big advocate of digital i'm a big advocate of all those things you know it's it's something special about being able to use that tool there was a post re recently that I, I i commented on and i went a little a little longer than i normally would with somebody but no. because i don't i don't no. normally post much you know, like when i when i comment i'm gonna let it be you know okay you're right i'm that guy right i don't i don't want to get in arguments but you know, ask me about, hey, if you were to hire people, would you make it, would you force them to do social media? I said, I wouldn't force them forced. to. I would just tell them that's your essential duty. And if you don't do that, you can't work here because that's just what we do. <laughs> that's, like telling me, that's like telling me that somebody who wants to sell cars won't catch ups or won't take phone calls or won't do. That's just what you have to do. It's like if you're, make, if you're, a, if you're a cook and you just, you don't cook, then you don't have a job. Right. You know, it's so it's, there's yeah. no difference me than that that is professional level we have to we have to use social media we have to be able to market ourselves out there but communicate most importantly on social media and let people know you talked about those pictures and i love that you talked about your father had the pictures of everybody in their individual frame social media is that powerful too mm -hmm. people oh, know sure who you is. are or they it come sure in to buy from you they are looking at your social mm -hmm. media and they're going to do it more and more and more wouldn't you want them to know who you are or you want to be a stranger to them I'm going to tell you, if you're a stranger, they're going to probably look somewhere else because they're going to want to feel yes. comfortable who they're buying from. They want to know that this person is a good human being and that this I, they deserve my business in a way, right? If they earn it. <laughs> so that being said, that's what I believe the future is. So that being said, I know you get into that a lot. You have a lot of rewards that you've been able to go through. What has been the greatest reward for you in automotive so far? Uh, I think... I think going back, and this is really kind of funny because this year um, is the last year and a half, two years have been the years of digital retailing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I remember back in, in the year 2000, August of 2000, I was a 39-year-old dealer from Kentucky, and I'm standing on the stage at the world headquarters at Ford Motor Company, and we're introducing this fledgling company called Ford Direct to the world. And Fred, you and Lou can appreciate this more than anybody on this call. I was sitting there, and I, first off, I just didn't want to fall off the stage. I didn't want to, <laughs> you know, get, get any kind of stage fright or anything. Uh, and I thought, what is this car dealer from Kentucky doing in front of everybody in the world announcing this new company? And I remember before I got up there, Randy Ortiz, who is another great mentor of mine, he was in charge of what they called the Emmer Connect for Ford Motor Company. And we created Ford Direct from scratch from an idea of a dealer in Florida named Leo Hillock. And I just happened to be a catalyst. I fell in love with it. I knew it so well. I, I went back and forth from Lexington to Detroit every week for five months. And we created this company, and I'm launching it. And Randy Ortiz, I said, Randy, I'm afraid they're going to throw out a question that I won't know. And he goes, well, first off, you've been with this program so long, you know all the answers. And and if if you don't know it, they're not going to be able to judge you anyway because <laughs> they don't know the answer either. <laughs> and so, 
So he goes, go, go out there with confidence and present it. And, and guys, to this day, I mean, it, it literally was, I, I can show you the video. It was modern day digital retelling in the year 2000. We were so far ahead of the game that the consumers weren't ready for it. Dealers weren't ready for it. Uh, but boy, there were 30 some Ford dealers in that audience that had created this company from scratch and they were our co-founders. And, and I'm still proud of what we as dealers, as human beings were able to put together. And, and it really um, created this awesome environment for the motor, motor world at that time. And, and we've spent 20 years trying to catch up to the idea that Leo had all those years ago. So it, it made me really proud to be able to stand up there with my fellow dealers and, and introduce something revolutionary to the whole world. Wow. wow. That is huge. You know, and I wish we were there. You know, no doubt. And that's just, that's just beautiful. And that, you're right. That was so future thinking, you know, and that's automotive took a while. I think the last handful of years, we've jumped light years ahead than where we were just a few oh, yeah. years ago as a whole, as an industry, right? Yes. And that's a blessing, you know, and I think that it's great that dealers are starting to open their eyes and their pocketbooks to make it happen because it's important to invest in your business because if you don't, eventually, if you don't get into this digital marketing, into this digital retail, you're going to disappear. I mean, because you're going to lose yeah. a lot of business and those smaller stores are going to become even smaller and then they're just going to be bought out. And I, I don't like seeing that. I love seeing the you know local stores stay there, and I love seeing you know people be able to thrive in their communities and help their communities. Because I do believe that what we do is essential. I do believe yes. that something that we that we provide is something that the communities need. And then the philanthropy that most of the owners that I know they do so much for the oh, community. Oh yeah, so much and stuff that they don't even talk about nor advertise in a lot of cases because it's yeah. they just they just want to do it. Help. So that just shows yeah. you in my in my mind how how amazing that these these dealers really are. In, in the world that car guys are not considered or car gals are not considered the most, they're like, you know, they say lawyers and, and you know, that type of stuff, right? <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, they're the, some of the greatest people you could ever meet. You know, you know that firsthand. Look at your father, you know. He was a family man, raised, a, you know, an amazing family, a, a large family, and, and did it and, and provided and made something really amazing, a huge legacy that's passed through you that you're passing on to so many others right now. And, and it's it through us, you know, and it's it's great. We appreciate you so much, man. Oh yes. boy, guys, to you. I, I can't tell you what a thrill it was for me to get on here, and I'll tell you why. I was thinking, you know, I turned sixty-one this year. When you hit sixty, and you guys are so young, I could be your father, and uh, it's so it's so funny. I feel like I still got a little bit of cool in me when I get to be on a show like this. So yeah, thank you all for yeah. giving me that gift today. Well, you definitely have a lot of cool in you. Trust and believe. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty one looks this. good on you, my friend. Yeah, it looks really good. good. You know what else would look good on him? One of these shirts, but maybe one of uh, the superhero kind. Oh, you got yeah. one to show him. We got one of these coming for you because to us, you are a superhero in the industry, and you're making big things happen that that we want to make sure other people know about. And if they're hearing it from us, it's one thing, right? If they're it, but they've been hearing it for a while, and you've been around for a while, and we want to make sure that we do always find a way to highlight the people that have been sowing seeds throughout their career and you're doing that and we're we want to be part of the ultimately big buffet of what good comes from the fruit that we've sown a long time ago and people like you bring the good beans you bring the good stuff that gets yeah. bagged up and keeps us all enthusiastic about doing our stuff but check that out subprime uh. in the superman colors is is what you need to be rocking with. We'll also get you a forgive, focus, and fly shirt. Yeah. And uh, everybody else listening or watching can go to carguycoffee.com, get you some of that, and get you a mug and a cup of coffee or something good to drink. So get a hold of you. Well, obviously they can go to our website, caneautomotive.com. They can text me or call me on my cell number. It's listed right there on the website. Uh, or uh, they can join you guys and me. In Lexington at our class oh, and friends workshop. So, we got some yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually going to do a bourbon distillery tour that I'd like you all to come with us if you're able to. Heck and yeah. we're going to do an afternoon at the Keeneland Horse Races, which I think helps showcase some of the great things about Kentucky. I believe that not only I, I actually was just telling that to one of my Houston friends. I was telling him how Keeneland is one of the most beautiful racetracks you'll ever yeah. go to. 
it's still it country sure side. It's so traditional you almost feel like you step back in time when you sit on that track yes. yeah, I sure yeah. i've been to churchill and churchill's beautiful it's got tradition and i'm not taking away i love mm -hmm. churchill but keeneland is special there's something oh, it is. Right. yeah bring your bring your fancy hat we want you to look good when you go to keeneland uh, heck yeah, well, heck yeah. Well, you have done so great here on the show today you're getting us motivated and pumped up you're showing deals you're just showing all the car guy moves and we love that look at what a solutionary does thank you so much for <laughs> with us and having a cup of coffee and a conversation real quick though since we still have some more time i want to kind of sizzle this up a little bit get that aroma going what what more are they are people going to be able to get and take advantage of going to an event like this well the, the great thing is yeah the great thing is we're going to have uh about 25 presentations from industry experts all over the country uh, we'll have presentations by google facebook uh, all of the leading marketing and digital uh, sales companies will uh, have a vendor showcase to where people can go around and have an intimate relationship with the people that the, uh, are providing the solutions. We're going to have a couple of dealer panels, so uh, some of the movers and shakers in the industry will be there. Uh, additionally, we're going to be in a position where we're going to have a vendor shark tank to where six vendors get to compete. Uh, we'll have the top three will present live at the event. Uh, and they're going to introduce new technologies. I've already seen the new technologies. These are world-beating, cool solutions that I think people will enjoy. And uh, the, the Presidio Group is actually going to help us fund the venture uh, with the best, best uh, solution that's presented. Wow. So Stefan Ferry from the Presidio Group will be there and they fully intend to invest in, in the company that wins. And uh, then we're going to have a best idea session where uh, a dealer participant gets to uh, present their best idea and walk away with 1500 bucks plus a trophy. So a lot of good stuff going on. Oh, with that a event. lot of, it's, oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. That is so it's now so, right now. You have a beautiful, yeah. I mean, the sponsor list is beautiful. You got a great group of people going to show up. Like he said, there's going to be tons of dealers, tons of vendors, tons of people there not to sell, but to make solutions, to sit down and yes. be able to bring, give you real time advice on how to go back and make your store better, how to, how to get your people motivated, how to bring them more leads, how to do all the right things, how to show them how to generate their own. I mean, there's so Absolutely. many ways that we can do these things. It's about a team. It's about growth. It's about the future of automotive and it's a lot of digital going down. So let's get digital. Thanks guys. Yes. Heck yeah. Well, car guys and car gals, thank you so much for brewing solutions with us today with the incredible the one, the only, David Kane. <laughs> yes. yes. Car guys and car gals, I'm Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And I'm Fred Lenartz, the subprime hero. And you've been Brewing Solutions on the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. Before we leave, we are going to get one more Forgive, Focus, and Fly with our friend David as we finish <laughs> off the show and you share it around. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Let's brew on three. One, two, three. We'll begin. Forgive. Focus. Fly. <laughs> keep growing. Keep growing. Yeah, All right, David. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Enjoy Seattle. Have fun. Change the world, my friend. Change the world. Let's keep growing. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>